We need to initialize our database, create the schema for JPA entities, and insert some data. Let's start with the schema. We could set the DDL Auto property to Create Drop. However, this solution is far from ideal and very limited. Spring Boot provides us with another way to define the database schema. We can create the schema.sql file in the standard root class path locations and it'll be used to initialize the database. Also, we need to set the Spring SQL init mode property to Always to tell the application to trigger this script. Now we need to write a proper DDL script to initialize the database. With the help of JPA Buddy, it can be managed in a couple of clicks. Next, we need to add some common data. For that purpose, we can create a data.sql file right next to the one we made for schema definition. JPA Buddy helps us here as well. We use UUID type for IDs and the plugin generates them for us. Here we go.